This is a brief introduction video to Task Center's Web Service Connector tool connecting to Microsoft Exchange's web service. If we just open up our Web Service Connector, and in here you can see I already have a Microsoft Exchange Web Service Connector set up. If I just click on Edit, you can see it opens up our connection and our configurator. And inside here we've got the name, we've set and pointed to the Web Service tool to where the uh, WSDL file is and then what happens is all the operations that this web service supports are ret returned to us. If I just scroll down the list here you can see it's a very comprehensive list of operations that this tool actually returns. If we have a look at this in action and just go into a task if I just open up this task here, we've actually got a task set up to retrieve information from uh, a new activity placed into SAP Business One, and then that activity is being automatically populated into as a calendar item in Microsoft Exchange. If I just open up the task, in here you can see we have the SAP Business One event tool here, monitoring for changes in SAP Business One. When it recognizes a change, it's retrieving the information via OLEDB, passing that across to our XML tool, that passes it across to our web service tool. If I just open up our web service connector tool, you can see it's calling the uh, Microsoft Exchange web service there. And what happens now is it exposes all of the operations available to me through our web service tool. And as you can see here, a very comprehensive list of the operations available to us. Just scroll down here. So there they all are. If I just come across to our mapping tab, you can see on the left hand side here, these are the fields returned from SAP Business One, and you can see these are from our OLEDB query. And on the right hand side, you can see all of the tables that the web service tool is returning from Microsoft Exchange. Now, in this case, we're actually looking for the calendar items, which are under this folder here, but you can see messages, contacts, tasks, etc all of the uh, what you'd expect to find from Exchange are exposed here. If I just expand the calendar items you can see that what we've done now is we've mapped our SAP B1 fields across to our fields in Exchange. And so notes is going across the body, the subject line has been mapped from details. We've also got down here start and end times and location. If I just OK that, just OK the task and come into SAP Business One. So what I'm going to do now is enter a service call into SAP Business One and just add a few notes in here. Uh, when do we want this service call to happen? Well, we'll have that uh, scheduled for the Monday at three o'clock. And you can see we've just put a few notes in here as well with our reference. If I now add this activity into SAP B1, just flick back to task center we'll see the task running in our active tasks and you can see down here the different steps that have been initialized from the task running and if I just come out of this virtual environment to our exchange server machine and we're going to be monitoring or looking at uh, Monday the 19th there and there you can see calendar appointments just appeared if I open up this appointment we can see in here the details that have been passed across from SAP Business One. And that is just a quick demonstration on publishing activities from any database through our web service tool into Microsoft Exchange Server.